Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the Anthem game. Uh, right now the game is not well optimized, so I'll show you what to change, what to optimize uh, to get like more FPS and keep a good quality in your uh, graphic. So first of all, make sure that you're playing uh, with the proper um, number of Hertz. Uh, for me, I had like a six. Uh, I have a 144 Hertz screen, but by default the game was at 60. So make sure that resolution, Hertz, everything is fine. Uh, also, make sure that you're playing full screen. I was losing a lot of FPS when I was playing Window or Borderless. So for for now, play this game in full screen. And I'm re removing the vertical sync. Graphic settings, uh, I'm removing motion blur. The thing is, I still see motion blur in the game. Even if I went to the config file, motion blur is supposed to be at off. But uh, I don't know, probably they will fix that because I see a lot of blur when I move uh, in the game. Depth of field, remove this, you will get a couple of FPS. And chromatic aberration, same thing. Advanced settings, so now put this one at custom because you want to make sure that you can change all the parameters by yourself. First of all, TL Yazing, play TAA, don't go with Ultra, you will lose too much FPS. And for sure, if you have like a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, just re remove it, it completely. Ambient Occlusion, remove this, you will gain approximately 2% uh, percent of FPS, so kind of good. Uh, texture quality, not a big impact, it depends on your VRAM on your video card. Me, I have 8 gigs, so I'm playing at Ultra, but for sure if you have like a... Um, uh, video card with two two gig of VRAM go with medium or even low. Mesh quality. This one you will gain three to four FPS for each bracket. So I'll put I'm putting this one at medium. Lighting quality. Big impact on your FPS. This one put this one at low. You will gain five to six percent of F FPS. So a nice chunk with the lighting quality. Effect quality. Uh, you will not gain necessarily more FPS. It's more like a more stable FPS. When you're fighting and stuff like that, uh, the, right now the the, um, the FPS is not really constant. So when you uh, downgrade a little bit your effect quality, you will see more uh, stable FPS when you fight. Post processing quality, not a big chunk over here, like two FPS for each bracket. So I'm putting this one at medium. Tearing quality, this one big chunk, three to four FPS for each bracket. Put it this one at medium because I feel like low is a bit too uh, low for me. So medium is a good spot for this game. And vegetation quality, really important this one. Again, it touches uh, the stability of your FPS, your FPS. Put this one at low, uh, you want to downgrade the, veget the vegetation quality. So that's about it for the graphic parameter in the game. Now let's go to the config file. So now we're in the uh, config file. So to find it, you have to go to document, bioware. Anthem demo settings and you need to choose the third one profile option profile right click on it Make sure that you're downloading something like notepad plus plus to edit this. It's a free software So all the settings right now will be there the thing is right now I don't see any difference between the in-game setting and here uh, Make sure that you keep like looking at it. The only weird part is the anti-aliasing uh, it's showing at 4, so you can definitely do some tests and put it at 3, 2, uh, because they, they will for sure add more anti-aliasing in the future. Uh, so right now, the version of the game is 0.00, .00 so it's some kind of whatever, alpha or beta. Uh, but make sure that here that for sure they will add more stuff. I don't see any shadow uh, quality here, so it will probably look like Battlefield, um, because it's the same engine, so um, yeah keep a look in the config file when they will release patches. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Also, keep um, a look on your drivers. So probably NVIDIA will release driver for the game. Uh, same thing with AMD. The game is coming like very soon in February. So make sure everything is up to date. Peace, everyone.